driving has become a lot safer. Even so, 3,400 people died on Texas roadways in 2012. Driver distraction, impaired driving, speeding, and not wearing a safety belt are among the biggest contributors to crashes and deaths. We've made steady and significant progress in reducing the risk of traveling. But in Texas, over 90,000 people are seriously injured or killed each year at a cost of over $20 billion. We're building safer roadways and we're driving safer cars than ever before. But the driver continues to be the biggest contributor to crashes. And changing our behavior is the hardest thing to achieve. One of the first steps in changing behavior is understanding the attitudes of Texas drivers. So since 2010, the Texas Department of Transportation has funded the Statewide Traffic Safety Awareness Study conducted by researchers at the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. In that survey, Texas drivers are asked a host of questions about various issues, including distracted driving, driving while intoxicated, speeding, and even seatbelt use. We can design, build, and operate a system as best anyone can in the world but ultimately it's about the choices we make when we're driving a vehicle and behind the wheel and through proper education and awareness, helping un people understand the consequences of those choices, we're confident that this research project and survey will help us understand how to reach them better so they make the right choices when it counts the most. Based on the results of the 2013 survey, some driver attitudes appear to be slowly changing. For example, 41% of the respondents said they sometimes or regularly talk on their cell phones while driving. That's down from 46% the year before. However, there was no change in texting while driving. 24% admitted to sometimes or regularly texting while driving. Another part of the survey attempts to evaluate awareness of TxDOT's driving safety initiatives. 82% of the respondents recognized the Click It or Ticket slogan. The Click It or Ticket campaign was the most recognized message for the last two years. 67% said they had read, seen, or heard something about alcohol-impaired driving enforcement within the last 30 days. That's down from 74% in the 2012 survey. I think it's important to validate that the traffic safety programs, campaigns, and messages are hitting the mark. People are hearing and recognizing the, these messages and it's affecting their behavior. We can look at crash data to see the final outcome, but this adds to the picture of how people are aware of and mindful of traffic safety issues in Texas. It's essential that we understand how we behave and why we behave that way to create a culture where we are taking responsibility for our own safety and of the safety of our fellow travelers. For the Texas A&M Transportation Institute, I'm Rick Davenport.